Okay, so here we have potential dividers again. Why are they called potential dividers? Well, we'll figure that out. We'll see more of this in the later chapter as well. So anyway, we're connected to a 12 volt supply. So 12 volts is the whole difference between this side and this side. You go one round, you drop, 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 and then you go back to the battery. Uh, negligible internal resistance, that's important too. Good to know, negligible. What range of voltage can be obtained between X and Y? Ha, huh? got range of voltage. Ah. First, you need to know, why this resistor got an arrow there? Oh, if it got an arrow there, means it's called a potentiometer, aka, I think the other names are like rheostat. But the name that is most uh, clear is, is also called a variable resistor. So it's a resistor that the resistance can change on. Now you see, ma, change from 0 to 100. So what range of voltage can you find here? You only want this possible range. Well, let's say what if it is 0 ohms? Ha, 0 ohms. 0 ohms means pretty much it's just resistor. Pretty much you can just say it's a wire. Nothing there. Then you try to measure potential here. Ha? No potential. La. So here, if here is 0 ohm, this will be 0 volts. So no drop. So the smallest is 0. Right? All is 0. Okay, good to know. So that's the first part. And what if you have 100 ohms here? You increase, increase, increase until it becomes 100 ohms. How are you going to find this maximum uh, voltage? Hmm. Remember the ratios? We talked about the ratios. Well, one way to think about it is, well, this V over here, over the whole circuit's 12 volts, should be equal to this particular one, 100, over all the, the whole resistance here. So 100 plus 300. In other words, you can say this voltage over here will be 100 over 400 times 12. This is also based on the ratio idea that we looked at earlier. So we calculate this one properly. Oh, yeah, what's my calculator? 100 over 400 times 2, 12. 3 volts. Okay, so maximum 3 volts. Let's do a reality check. How we know we correct or not? Leh? Well, if we say it's 3 volts here. Eh, where's my red color? Reality check. If this is 3 volts, means this drop will have to be 12 minus 3, 9 volts. Let's see, bigger drop, bigger resistance. Smaller drop, smaller resistance. Hmm, correct, correct, correct. Can, can. Uh, we can also check with the other method that we looked at. Let's look at the ratio of this section to this section. So that's 9 volt over 3 volt. This resistance over this resistance, 300 ohm over 100 ohm. Check and see, correct or not? 9 divided by 3 is 3. 300 divided by 100 is 3. The ratio is 3. So correct, that's how you can check and be sure. Two ways to solve the same thing. Alright, so that's potential drops in potential dividers.